Everybody needs good neighbors. I've missed you, but we're going to have a big surprise because your big brother's going to be coming back tonight. Well, that's worth a picture. <laughs> Hi, Carl. We just had some very good news at our place. How about you? Same. Darren's just been to see me at Shea Shea's. Mm. Yes, I'm on my way home now. Libby's about to set down the rules for engagement. Oh, and fair enough too, I must say. You know, I think we think because we're older than the kids that we know all that there is to know. I'm starting to think that that's not quite true. <laughs> Cheryl, Cheryl, stay still. Don't move, all right? Don't move. I know, I know it does. I know it does. It's very important that you don't move, all right? She's been straight out in front of me. I, I know, can't do I anything. know. We need an ambulance straight away. Come on. I've got a mobile. Good, then use it. What? Could someone please take the little child away? She was after the kid, that's why she ran out. I know, I saw what happened. I know, it's not your fault. Now, come on, get on the phone, get me an ambulance, straight away. Could someone please find me a blanket? You can tell your dad it's all fixed up. <sighs> oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, he had some guy come and have a look at the rails the other day. Another tradesman? I think it was one of Grant's therapists. Was he impressed? Yeah, I think he was. But don't go getting a big head, all right? Thanks. Uh, hey, whose is that waterproof radio in the bathroom? Oh, that's Dad's. He likes to sing along in the shower. He said his Mum. Maybe I should get her one. Well, as long as she's better than Dad. <laughs> Actually, she's not too bad. She only cuts loose when she's in a good mood. Can't say she's been doing much of that lately. Yeah, all that stuff with Lou. Yeah, well, I haven't helped coming back in the middle of things. Hey, uh, what do you reckon of these? I got them for Mum. Wow. I figured, uh, since business is picking up, I should get us something nice for putting up with me. Uh, Not bad. They're excellent. Maybe you should give something to everyone for putting up with you. Excuse me? Well, I wouldn't mind a little present myself. I haven't been giving you a hard time. Well, no, you haven't. But you can if you want. Go on, say something really mean. Don't tempt me. Things are finally going right. Touch wood. I know, I know. You won't have to put up with it much longer. The ambulance is almost here. Mum? Danny, Danny, it's important you try to stay calm. Your mother's had an accident. She's in a great deal of pain, but the ambulance is almost here. What happened? While he was playing with the puppy dog across the road, your mother chased her. She came from nowhere. Oh, I tried to stop. Well, do something! There isn't any more I can do. Oh, can't you give us something for the pain? No, no, it would be better if your mother could wait until the ambulance arrives. But she can't! I can't give her pethidine. She's on antidepressants. Oh, give her something else. No, I can't just administer anything. No, look, all I want you to do is take the pain away, okay? Is your mother on any other type of drug? Oh, no, you're a doctor. Is she allergic to anything? Carl! I don't have her file here, then. I have hundreds of patients. I can't remember everything they're all allergic to. Well, what's that? It's morphine. Just a very small dose. Just be enough to see through to the ambulance. We're almost there, Mum. You should have done that in the first place. What? what what's wrong? Tell me! She's unconscious. Why? I don't know. Oh, Mum! 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 Come on! Welcome home, Gran. <sighs> Do you want to give us a hand? Thank you, darling. Oh, we're back already. Hello, Darren. Uh, Darren's here to do a final clean-up. Don't want you to see the bathroom looking anything less than spectacular. <laughs> Which it does. <laughs> and that's the new office. Well, it's kind of like it was before, but Dad likes to call it the office so he can make the rules about the TV being on and the noise. Hannah. Well, you do. <laughs> it sounds as if you've been very busy while I've been away. We really missed you, though. I missed you, too. Oh, um, in honour of your homecoming? Oh, you're gonna have to pretend to like it. Like what? Oh, you'll see. Dad was up half the night reading recipe books. You should have seen the kitchen this morning. <laughs> I can imagine. Oh! I made it myself. 
Oh, oh, you are getting better, Philip. I'm most impressed. Yeah, well, I opened the door to see how it was well, going. And... It smells good. <laughs> it certainly does. Well, we'll all have to have a piece to celebrate your coming home. Oh, just being home is a celebration in itself. There really wasn't anything he could have done. There wasn't time to stop. She was just there. She ran out after the child. You were the first person I'm seeing. Yes, so I was the first one to her. Uh, she was in a great deal of pain. She had severe injuries. I couldn't tell exactly how bad they were. I was worried about movement because she might have had spinal injuries. And you administered a painkiller? Uh, no, no, not at first. Um, I suspected broken ribs and I was worried about a possible pneumothorax. A punctured lung? Yes, yes, that's right. Um, but her... Um, her breathing was constant, and I gave her an injection to reason that. Right. You said that's the woman's daughter? Uh, yes, yes. And the child? Is that the granddaughter? Oh, no, no. She's her daughter as well. We're friends of the family. I can look after her if you like until they notify. All right. That'll be a great help. OK. We'll also need to see you at the station to get a signature on your statement. That's fine. Thanks for your help. I will keep you just like You did the right thing coming home. I hope you know that. Mm. In fact, it might make things easier all round. How's that? Well, it shows that you've reached a certain level of maturity. Maybe it's time we trusted you to make your own decisions. And um, does Dad go the same <laughs> way? Well, we both know that your dad has got a couple of problems with you hmm. seeing Darren, so I wouldn't expect overnight miracles. You know, I would be happy if he even just started to back down. <laughs> Listen, I know I'm getting somewhere. Mm. <laughs> what on earth are you doing with Louise? Oh, don't tell us. Darren stole me away, so now you're just returning the favour. There's no one home at Marlene's. So I had to bring Louise here. What's going on? There's been an accident. Cheryl's running across the road to get to Louise and, um... And what? Is she all right? She died before the ambulance could get there. What do you mean she died? God. Does Darren know? The police are telling the immediate family, yeah. No, you can't hear it from them. Libby! No, no, no. Just let it go. I don't believe it. No. You and me both. Hey! What do you reckon? Uh, Phil cooked it up for Helen's coming home. Looks a bit dodgy, but it tastes okay. Darren, I've got some really bad news. It's not your dad again, is it? No, it's your mum. And what's she done? It's been an accident. What sort of accident? Who is she? Is she in hospital? What's wrong with her? Oh, she's Darren. not dead. I'm really sorry. Your mum was crossing the road to get Louise. Louise is okay. But your mum... right to go off like that. <laughs> well, I think our family finally finding its feet. We can all be together as we should be. Can we go into the office? Why? Please? Oh, something's happened at the shop. No, nothing's happened at the shop. has happened. It's not. There's been an accident. She's been knocked down on the road. Oh, my Lord. How bad. She's gone. I'm so silly. I was speaking to her just before she went to bed. No, i
Pa was there too, and he tried to help her. But he couldn't. No one could. Oh. Lolly. Yeah, Carl's looking after her. And he said he will until we sort things out. Oh. Oh. I'll have to lock up. I've got to get No, go we him. shouldn't close. Mum wouldn't want that. I'd better go to the police station, fill in some forms. I said I could wait until Louise was settled. Think it's too soon to try Marlene's again? Yeah, I would leave that. The police have filled anywhere Louise is. I'm sure they'll be open in a while. Um, all right, I'd better get a move on. Carl, I know what you're going through. I'll be here when you get home. OK, thank you. Husband. Brocky or Collie? Collie. Collie. Oh, I've got to drop some papers into Roz. I'll be about 15 minutes. You keep an eye on Helen while I'm out. Yep, okay. Just remember everything we talked about. Yep, make sure Grand's got whatever she needs. Good girl. Now, all this should be right on automatic pilot. Mm -hmm. um, I'll just keep an eye on this one. Make sure it doesn't boil too fast once it gets going. Dad, I think I can handle it. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm also going to pick up a good bottle of champagne. I want this to be a dinner Helen never forgets. How's Debbie? She's enjoying Perth. Oof. Is there anything you want? No, I'm fine. Thank you, darling. Okay, well, if you think of anything, just give us a call. I'll just be... I shall. Thank you. How's it all going? Ah, oh, fine. You got everything you need? Yes, thank you. You got enough cushions? Oh, yes, I'm perfect. And if I need anything else, I, uh, Hannah's just in the kitchen. Just remember to call her if you do need anything. Yes, right? I will, Philip. Will you stop fussing? You're as bad as Hannah. It's only because we care about you. And I'm enormously grateful. Believe me. Okay. We'll see you in a bit. not being here. so sorry. Thank you. 
Can I get you something? A cup no. of tea? No, no, I'm right. Thank you very much. Oh, Marlene, I am so sorry. If there's anything at all that we can do. Well, uh, there is one favourite, rather a big one. What? It's Louise. I just can't take her at the moment, and I wondered if you could have her uh, overnight, you know, just give me a bit of space. Oh, we'd be happy Absolutely to. Fine. Thank you, because there's, uh, there's so much to do, so much to organise. Have all the family been told? No. No, not yet. Brett's sailing somewhere and Lou's on holidays. I mean, tracking them down is going to be a nightmare. You will let us know if there's anything we can do. Yes. Thank you very much. Thanks, Susan. All right, then. I just wish there's more I could have done. You did your best. I'll do more than that. Thanks, Carl. You take care. It's so dreadful. What happened at the police station? No, it's just routine. Um, I'm going to take a shower, clear my head. Been quite a day. I can give you a break if you want. No, I'm fine. Know exactly what I've done and what I haven't. Hey guys, <laughs> moonlighting as publicans, aren't we? Or is the fashion business so bad we have no choice? Mum was in an accident this afternoon, so we have no choice. Oh, Danny, I'm sorry to hear that. I had no idea. <laughs> we just got Helen home, so the last thing we need is someone else not feeling quite themselves. She's all right, isn't she? She died. So what can we get you, Phil? Uh, I was after a bottle of good champagne. Oh, any Helen. particular time? I'm so sorry. Yeah, thanks. Look, uh, perhaps it might be better for someone else to look after this place. Just, just for the next day or two. We're doing fine. <laughs> Try singing to her. It always helped with our lot. <laughs> See if there's a, a dummy or a toy or something that might calm her down a bit. You know, it's hard to think about studying after what's happened to Shane. Oh, I think you've done very well to do anything. Come on, Lolly, you're all right, darling. I think she knows. Anything there? And then he sort of did this. I don't know, it's like... Oh, well, it looked better when he did it. I can imagine. <laughs> But he doesn't want anyone to know because he thinks it's sissy. Well, that's silly. Mm. Hey. Hey. Guess what I've got? <laughs> no more than you promised. Oh, you never forget the important things, do you? <laughs> Go ahead and uh, help me set up some glasses, huh? I was just showing Gran some of Casper's dance moves. Honestly, the guy is amazing. He's so talented. Listen, I've, uh, I've just had some news. That... And you're going to need to be very brave about it. Um, this is Helen's night, and I don't want to risk upsetting her. What happened? Um, Cheryl Stark's been involved in a road accident. You're going to have to promise me that you won't say anything until Helen's recovered from her move home. She's... Yeah, I'm, s <sighs> I'm sorry to have to ask you to act like there's nothing wrong. It's a rotten thing to do. I think you're old enough to realise that sometimes you have to consider other people's feelings. Good girl. <sighs> Come on, let's get these glasses and uh, give Helen the best walking home that anyone's ever had. And tomorrow? Tomorrow we, we can think about Cheryl. Tonight we think of Helen. I mean, she deserves one enjoyable evening before we give her even more to worry about. Don't get the accident out of my mind. I keep going over everything I did. I'm sure you did everything possible. I gave Cheryl an injection to ease pain. But I think that's what might have killed her. <laughs>